So in this video, we are going to install and configure vRealize operations on our vCenter environment. So if you, if you have seen the past videos, I am using currently a 6.5 update 3 vCenter environment. And along with that, I am, will be installing the vRealize operations. So let's start with the demo here. All right, let me just locate the ISO first. So let run the one. It's three drops for horizon. That's an 8.0 version that I will be using. This is my vCenter environment. So I'll be right click onto a ESXi host, click deploy OVF template, and uh, I'll specify the location of that uh, OVF file which I have downloaded. So I guess it was on the desktop somewhere. Let me just go back there. We drops for horizon there it is hit next so it will ask me about the location i'll just give it a name as internal data center i'll rename it later on the vm the we'll go ahead and select a resource the sxi internal one will be the one that we will be using and uh, click next Right. Accept the configuration. The configuration will be small as it's a test lab. The storage I will be using thin instead of thick because I don't want to pre provision the storage uh, because of uh, this is a lab environment. I'll be the network is fine. VM network seems to be okay. I'll hit next. Now the point is customization. I'll just hit next here and uh, let DHCP do its thing. I don't really need the static information at the moment since I have a DHCP configured. So I have inst started the installation of the OVF. It will take some time to complete. So I will be fast forwarding the, forwarding the video. And uh, so now it's completed. I'll just start the VDOPS appliance. It's going to take some time to boot up. And now we'll post fast forward the video. This is the machine. The name seems to be a bit different. Not really what I was expecting, but let's use it for the initial configuration. So there are two kinds of installations, express and new installation. If you will select express installation, it will give you less options and let you install, do complete the installation in less time. Just the administration credentials and you are ready to go. If we hit back, cancel, select the new installation. It will give you some more details and how you want to set the configuration. So we will be using the, let's hit next here, uh, set the administration password. All right, now the certificate, you can use the default certificate which comes with the appliance or you can install your custom certificate as well. Uh, the name of the master node, I'll set it as uh, default really don't need any specific name since it's just one VROPS in the environment. The You can provide the NTP server here as well if you have an NTP in the environment and you want time to be synchronized. So you can hit next. You can enable in availability mode if you want to configure HA. Rest, it, other than that, it's fine. No need to add any nodes. You can add the information if you want to. Just ready to complete. Click finish. So now it has started the installation. So it has started configuring the VDOPS agent node. Once it will be configured, it will give you an option to start it. So it's not started at the moment. You can start the VRealize operation. This is the first time it's uh, start. So it will going to take some time to initialize the, the node. So during this initialization, you won't be able to do much. So you will have to wait for this task to get completed. Uh, I'll just uh, I'm fast forwarding the video as well and uh, and even this is the last stage of configuration post this uh, the, your VDOPS is configured 
though still you need to add some of the components so let's just go back to the ui of the vdops and see what information we can see in the current state so we need to accept the ula if you want to you can use the product key here or you can use the evaluation version uh, ciep here to complete let's finish it off So now this is done it'll take some time to load the resources it will show you the administration you can see the quick start tab here and the, the operations overview as well though there is no cloud accounts added yet so it's just the initial configuration which is there so you can see the environment overview here the applications window if you want to add the inventory so let's go back to the administration once and this is the cloud accounts from where you will have to add the uh, the services later on for the vCenter server or the horizon view if you want to so the cloud accounts is still not loaded so it's still in the initial configuration once it will be done I'll 